Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to simplify one very interesting radical math expression without using calculators. So let's get started by considering this expression equal to E first. Now I will consider 88. So let's say 88 equal to X. So I can write 94 value will be x plus 6, 96 we can write x plus 8, 102 we can write x plus 14 and denominator we have 90 so 90 can be written x plus 2, we won't write 24. Now we can write expression E equal to the square root of the square root. 88 is x. 94 is x plus 6. 96 is x plus 8. 102 is x plus 14. Then we have 24 is square also. In denominator, 90 can be written as x plus 2 and it is having a square, so x plus 2 whole is square. Now I will consider x and x plus 14 all together, x plus 6 and x plus 8 all together. Let's write expression E equal to the square root of the square root. We will write x times x plus 14. Then we will write x plus 6 times x plus 8. Then we will be writing 24 is square. And in denominator, it is x plus 2 whole is square. Now we have to multiply these two and multiply these two parentheses. Let's multiply. We will get expression E. Let me write expression once. Here it is. So we can write here the square root of the square root of x times x. x is square. x times 14. 14x. Then x times x. x is square. x times 8 is 8x. 6 times x is 6x. 8x plus 6x. 14x. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 24 is square over x plus 2 whole is square now we will write the square root of the square root of x square plus 14x we will write x square plus 14x plus 24 minus 24. We added 24 and subtracted 24 in the first parenthesis. Second one, we will be writing x square plus 14x. Then we will split 48 as 24 plus 24. 24 plus 24. And then we have plus 24 square. And in denominator, we will write x plus 2 whole square. Now if I will consider x square plus 14x plus 24 as A and this 24 we will consider B. Then you can see here also this is A plus B. So we can use A minus B times A plus B equal to a square minus b square algebraic formula. So we can reduce our numerator as e will be equal to a square root of a square root. Now I will write x square plus 14x plus 24 whole square this is a square. 
minus b square so minus 24 square then we have additional 24 square in the numerator and denominator is x plus 2 whole square now we can cancel minus 24 square with plus 24 square so we will be getting expression equal to the square root of the square root of we will write x square plus 14x plus 24 whole square in the numerator and in the denominator it is already x plus 2 whole square or we can write the square root of the square root x square plus 14x plus 24 over x plus 2 whole square. As we all know, a power n over b power n, we can write a over b whole power n using exponent loss. Now you can see this is square root and square will be cancelled out and we will write our expression e equal to square root of x square plus 14x plus 24 over x plus 2. Let me write here expression e equal to x square plus 14x plus 24 over x plus 2. This is our expression E so far. Now I will write our numerator separately. x square plus 14x plus 24. If I will find factors of 24, then we can consider 12 times 2. And if I will add 12 with 2, we will be getting 14, which is our middle term coefficient, 14. So I can use method of factorization here. I will be writing x square. 14x, we will split 2x plus 12x. Then we have 24. Now we can take x common from first two terms. We will get x plus 2 and 12 common from last two terms we will get x plus 2 once again so our factorization is done it is x plus 2 times x plus 12 so let's replace our numerator with this factorization i will be writing a square root of x plus 2 times x plus 12 over x plus 2. Now x plus 2 and x plus 2 will be over. We will get expression equal to a square root of x plus 12. This is our simplified form of the expression. Now our substitution was x equal to 88. So I can write expression e will be a square root of x plus 12. So I will write a square root of 88 plus 12. This will give us a square root of 100, which we can write a square root of 10 a square. Now a square root and a square will be over. We will get our final answer 10. Let me write here expression value will be equal to 10. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.